Hey guys, how's it going? Web of Cicente here. And in this video, I'm going to teach you or basically show you where you can find awesome content sources which you could, you know, take inspiration from or sometimes even copy. Well, before I get started, when someone has their own story just because it's doing well, don't copy paste it for God's sake. If it's a personal story, it can't be yours. It just can't be yours. Don't do that just for getting a few likes and comments that will destroy you and have some self-respect, man. Don't do that crap. I see, I mean, a, a few days back, right? Like I, I've been seeing this trend that a lot of women have been posting about how LinkedIn has become Tinder, where men have been approaching them. Yes, like this is so overdone that many of them who probably aren't getting approached by guys have also started posting it. And the worst part, they just copy paste it, right? It is just not okay. Just don't do that. It'll ruin your reputation and which is not okay on LinkedIn. Right. If you can't create a content, there are so many other ways to get inspiration or actually post copy content, which is actually fine, but not such things, please. All right. Before we get started, uh, that's basically something that I wanted to say before we get started with this video. All right. All right. So the first and the best common source of LinkedIn uh, content is other LinkedIn profiles. Like find out who are the top uh, influencers of your space, let's say for digital marketing. I would go with my favorite, Neil Patel. Ouch. Neil Patel forever. He still doesn't, he still hasn't accepted my request. I'm not okay with it. If somebody who is a friend do let him know that I should be getting accepted for mentioning Neil Patel. Neil Patel so many times. Any which ways, uh, I hope Neil sees these videos and so ends up following me back or anyway just you can look at Neil, right he creates content on his with his face on it which is brilliant but these are so many co i mean content ideas that you can get like the reason why i'm showing you this is if you are in a space and you basically what you have to do is find out influencers in your space to get a lot of inspiration for example how to rank well on google uh how to rank well on Google, you have to do two little things. Okay, what is this about? Okay, it's basically about how to rank well on Google. This is this is a good inspiration video. Like I can take this up, mix it up, make my own version of it and release it and it'll work. Because it's all about the topic, right? Finding topics are really difficult. And LinkedIn or for that matter, any blog would do a lot of content ideas, give you a con lot of content ideas. Like the other amazing place that you can go for content ideas is Buzzsumo, that you can just type the topic name here and hit on go. It will show you all the content topics that are doing really well. Let's say, let's say additional marketing. <clears throat> I'm assuming I've shown you uh, Buzzsumo already sometime. You can see the kind of a content that is re doing really well based on social proof, strategic digital marketing, Cambridge Junior Business School, upgrade, okay, this is a promoted link. But again, right, look at this free webinar, uh, world's 100 great places of 2018, I mean, small business digital marketing survival kit, like this could be a great topic, right? Pick this up, break it up into multiple things and make it a piece of content. Let me just quickly do it. I'm doing it real time, guys. I'm, I haven't planned all these things, I'm being very frank because the reason why I do it real time is I keep it real, right? Okay, this is an amazing site, isn't it? Proper animated. All right, you can see the first one, it says facts plus, fact plus feedback is equal to your digital first impression. This topic itself and this content piece itself, you could elaborate it, explain it really well, could be your content piece number one. As simple as that. And if you have digital marketers in yours, in your uh, in your audience, it'll do really well because people will connect, right? Connect with your target customers on Facebook and more every day. Like, I mean, I'm just throwing this shit out, right? I'm not really making up anything. So this is basically a very good example where you could jump onto content, break it up, jump onto any blog article, ultimate digital marketing guide for car dealership. I mean, super, Okay, how to use Facebook custom audience step by step. All these, right, are doing really well. That basically means there's a requirement, there's a need for this. You can pick that up, pick them up and go ahead. And the other amazing, like this is my favorite, right? How do you get ideas? Just type the damn keyword, digital marketing. <clears throat> I'm sorry guys, I'm not really doing well. That's why I took a lot of break before I got into 
All right, so you can see there's a lot of questions. How do I land digital marketing? What are the top digital marketing agencies? How do I start career in digital marketing? These are all could be your topics. These all could be your topics if you're catering to a digital marketing audience, right? I mean, this is more around uh, if you look at this career oriented, but let's say digital marketing in real estate. Let's say this is an audience that you're catering to, which is in real estate. You basically get content ideas, right? How important is digital marketing in a real estate? Does real estate benefit from digital marketing? What are the best digital marketing tools for real estate agencies to sell real estate? These are awesome content ideas and like the content ideas are almost unlimited on Quora. This is awesome, right? But the two ways or two things of looking at it, like the type of content that you create should not be only one type. That is, if you start only talking about your type of content, people will get bored of you. So it has to be a mix. Right. So the way I do it is I don't really have a calendar as such, but the way I do it is I mix it up real nice. I have some real stories of mine. I probably have one video or one video in two weeks about the topic that I really want to talk about. That is digital marketing. I often talk about entrepreneurship because that is more wider and also something that really interests me. Three, the other thing that you can do is you can just talk about generic topic or share videos. Yes, viral videos are something huge on LinkedIn. And for that, again, you can go back to uh, like my favorite source of viral videos is this cheddar, right? It cheddar means cheese, I'm assuming. So they have awesome videos. You can see like they share 35 minutes back, they share this awesome videos. They are like warehouse of videos. There's so many of them. I'm sure you must have come across these. There's so many other people like Owen and people who do a lot of sharing of these videos. And these videos do really well on LinkedIn because people like watching them, right? I mean, just go back, just keep scrolling, find something that had done really well and download this and post it and obviously give credits to Cheddar, right? Don't just be an idiot. Give some credits and boom, you are going crazy on LinkedIn already. Right. I mean, because these videos, right, I've seen people clocking hundreds of thousands of views on a 10,000 follower profile because of the kind of videos they are, because people like watching good videos. People like getting inspired. People like to know new things. Now, Cheddar is one source. The other amazing way to get to a lot of new sources is going to similar pages on the right side. This is an amazing way you can see. I can see something else interesting engineering. I'm assuming these guys will be making a few videos, too. Uh, OK, let's see what interesting engineering is. All right, look at this again, videos around engineering this time. How cool is that? If you are in India or in any country which has a domination of engineering, people would love it, right? This is again, again, you can again dig deeper. For example, here I found Tech Insider and TED conferences. I mean, you can keep jumping into each one of these pages and find awesome content just within LinkedIn, right? And it's okay. Just download it and give credits, right? Just give credits when you're replicating when it's a video just give them credits i've done it a couple of times and i've always made sure that i give credits the other awesome way to find videos is none other than youtube right let's say inspirational videos right i mean it's something that i searched recently you have so many filters that you can actually check you want a short one okay because linkedin is a place where people don't want to watch longer videos short ones again right this is very indian based content you can see grind powerful motivation video Hussein Bolt I think this will kill it this will basically kill it on LinkedIn right obviously not just sharing video but writing a nice write-up on what inspired you to share this video with some personal touch to it it'll do really well right I mean guys there's so much of content available out there the other the other way that I've done re that I've found recently is just say viral videos All right, you can see, boom, look at this. 262K engagement. Police called a 12 year old uh, mowing grass, which ends up getting him more business, whatever, right? These videos are doing brilliantly well. 12 year old toddler, people love kids. So if you really want to keep your profile engaging, you might want to share one video a week, which is probably two videos a week if you are someone who wants to, who doesn't have enough content. Again, this is not something that I do enough because I feel I'm trying to build up my own personal brand and I feel I have enough stories to share every time. I'm not out of content. I'm st at least yet, I'm not out of content. So I don't have this problem, but if you are someone who is short of content, you can absolutely use this. Guys, this is, this is just a hint, right? I mean, these sources should be enough for you guys to have content for the next 10 years. But there's so many other like, Make a note of 
profiles every time you find something interesting on LinkedIn. Let's say you find someone sharing good video, go to his profile, check it out. If he keeps sharing good videos, that's an advantage, right? You can just create more content on the go. I hope this video helped. I'll see you on the next one.